going on guys? This is Barker. I got a new video for you. So basically what I'm doing is reacting to the Pistons NBA draft. Now there were some crazy picks like Patrick Williams at four, Isaac Okoro at five, uh, Onyeka going to the Hawks at six even though they have Clint Capella. That was a little bit of a head scratcher. Kind of reminded me of when the Magic picked Mo Bamba when they already had Vucevic. So hopefully it works out better for Onyeka. But I mean they already have Clint Capella. So it's going to be hard for them. So I'm going to be reacting or like kind of giving my opinion on Troy Weaver's first like picks as a GM, the moves he did, the college players we picked and I'm gonna give a low spoiler my opinion I'm a big fan of Troy Weaver Troy Weaver now he made a lot of hard decisions that a lot of Pistons fans aren't happy about he traded Bruce Brown for a second round pick he traded Luke Kennard for the 19th pick which honestly like it was Luke Kennard's last year on his deal he was gonna want a lot of money He's not good at defense. I don't think it was worth giving him all that money. It's kind of like a Caldwell Pope situation, like just let him leave. At least we got something for it this time, so letting Caldwell Pope go to the Lakers when he used to play for the Pistons. But I'm gonna react to seventh pick, Killian Hayes. In my opinion, I will give that grade like a B plus. The only reason it's not an A, A-plus type situation is because uh, Danny Abdija was still on the board. We could have had a guy who was projected to be number four, compared a lot to Luka Doncic. He looks like a really good player. It sucks that he went to nine to the Wizards and we could have got him. But Killian Hayes reminds me a lot of James Harden. He's kind of got a similar play style. He takes a lot of setbacks. He's got fancy passes and dribble moves. I'm a big fan of this guy. And he's, I'm pretty sure, friends with Saku Dumboya. So, you know, get the group back together on the Pistons. Get a little, like, French connection. But I think he's going to be a good point guard. I think that was a good pick. So far, Troy Weaver doing good. The whole Luke Kennard situation for the 19th, I think, was a good pick. Bruce Brown trading for a second-round pick. That's a little iffy. But he couldn't really shoot. He was just really good at defense, that's about it, so... He's, he's nothing special, is basically what I'm saying. Not to sound... Not that he's not good, he's just nothing special. Then we had the 16th pick, which we got from the Trail... No, the Rockets. We uh, acquired Trevor Reza's terrible contract, and they gave us the 16th pick. And I think we gave him, like, a really protected future first-round pick. And we picked Isaiah Stewart. He's a very solid center. I think there were, there was like Precious Achua still on the board that we could have picked up, but in my opinion, Isaiah Stewart fits our team better. Because Precious Achua is more of a power forward, and Isaiah Stewart's actually like a center. He can shoot somewhat too. Uh, I, I like that pick. I'd give that, I'd give that a B plus, B plus, B plus. Uh, 19th pick. The one we got from uh, the Nets because we traded Luke Kennard. In a three-team trade, we traded Luke Kennard to the Clippers. Nets got Landry Shamit. We got the 19th pick. We picked Sadiq Bey. Now this, in my opinion, is an A-. minus. We were going for Aaron Naismith, I'm pretty sure. But I think Sadiq Bey is really good too. He's like six foot eight, can shoot really good, good, good at defense. He's kind of... He doesn't really have much flaws in his game. That's why I'm a big fan of him. I think that's a really good pick. Honestly, the best pick in the draft for us. And then next, I believe, yeah, that's all the first round picks. And we had one second round pick, which isn't that big of a deal, but I'll just go over it. Sabin Lee, we got from the Jazz, and we got Tony Bradley for giving them... I don't even know, like, feet, like cash or something. We get a young center in Tony Bradley. Because I think uh, Thon Maker is going to walk. Or we're going to let him walk because we don't want to pay him and he's not that good. And we picked up Saban Lee 
He's a really athletic point guard. We needed another young point guard, because obviously we have D-Rose, and now we have Killian Hayes, and now we have another young point guard in Saban Lee. I'm assuming Derrick Rose is going to be moved, since the fact we picked up two point guards. I mean, maybe they're just going to send Saban Lee to the G League the first year. I'm not sure. But I would be very surprised if we start the season with Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose on the team. So, overall, Troy Weaver, the guy who used to be an assistant GM on OKC, came to the Pistons, became a GM. We, we only started the draft with one pick, and that's the seventh. Troy Weaver got us the 16th pick, the 19th pick, and the 38th pick, so an early second. So he had us have three total picks in the top 19, and then an early second round pick. That was really good. I think the whole situation of what we lost isn't really that big. I mean, we got two first round picks in the second, and all we gave up was Bruce Brown and Luke Kennard. And really protected first round picks that most likely we're still going to keep. Because we're not a good team. So if I had to grade Troy Weaver's draft, I would give him... I would give him, honestly, this is one of the best drafts I've seen from the Pistons. I give him an A. Just a straight up A. Not an A+. Plus. I think if we selected Danny Abdija... Instead of uh, Killian Hayes, then I probably would have gave it an A plus. And if like instead we selected like I don't know Isaiah Stewart instead of Isaiah Stewart, we selected like one of the young point guards. I think Cole Anthony was still on the board, maybe. But there's still a lot of good point guards. We got Saban Lee. He's a good pickup for a second rounder. Uh, let me know what you thought about the draft. What you thought about the whole Pistons direction? I think. It was really good. We just need to rebuild. We need to suck. Let all the young players get minutes. Trade away all the veterans. That That's the goal. And I think that's what Troy Weaver wants to do. And I think that's kind of what he showed. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Peace.